hello and uh, welcome everyone so in this video we are going to talk about what is element what is attribute and what all are these what are the global attributes so if you just write we can just do h h1 tag any kind of different tags so we will talk about what is element what is attribute and what is uh, the global attributes right so first of all let's talk about the tags so when we are saying that we are writing all these things h1 paragraph tag and all so what what all are these if you just keep writing division h1 paragraph we have lot of different tags all around so you can just you can just say okay i wanted to add an anchor tag so you can just do ahref here you will put a link right so we are able to create all these different kind of tags so tags are like anchor tag abbreviation tag area there are many audio video and the base tag article tag i mean there are there is a big list of tags like body is itself a tag body button input uh, code column group data data list so in html5 it's uh, all about the different tags and some new tags also has been introduced right so what we are calling this h1 is a tag paragraph is a tag division is a tag but what about this class and all the other properties which we are specifying like href href is an attribute of an anchor tag what if like you are just specifying image tag here you will be defining the location of image and then you are putting alt tag and close it so here this alt tag and source tag these are called the attribute for this particular image you will provide the location of the image alt tag the placeholder text if image doesn't appear href is the anchor link so that when you click on to this something would appear right so you can say the hello will come as a link and paragraph tag the h1 tag so these are the standard semantics which has been provided so similarly there is a big list you just need to be aware like doc type declaration on the top this is also considered as a tag which is saying that okay this document is of type html anchor tag is defining the hyperlink right similarly we have a lot of different tags like article tag define article area audio video body button input type uh, h1 to h6 so you might have used h1 then h2 till h6 image tag input tag then we have new bar object iframe picture image so all these are considered as a tag now coming to the attributes so attributes are actually belongs to these tags there may be a different attributes so in in html we are going to write in future we will be writing the form form action and there may be on submit action and here i'm closing the form and here we can have input type so what is the type type is an attribute text with what i'm saying and here you can have input type file if you wanted to use a file chooser and here you can specify all the other things like name okay i'm i'm accepting username and id can be there so these all other things are considered as an attribute and this form you can see the action when form submit is clicked i i will add an input type button this is how we create a simple button in html i think this should be fine yes so this simple form right similarly we have a different attributes like video has a lot of elements video has lot of control controls auto play right and we have a classes we are defining ids here these are also called as attributes in future we will also talk about the global attributes global attributes are nothing but some common attributes which you see everywhere right 
like the classes, the IDs which we are specifying, the style, title, language. For a particular DOM, you also specify language, right? So this is also considered as a global attribute because we are defining it at, at the global level. Similarly, we will, we will be using script tag like script src. Here you might be using async. So this particular case, we want to load this JavaScript file at uh, lazy loaded. I mean, not blocking the critical render path. So we will just use async for that to defer the load of uh, this particular JavaScript file on the page load, right? So ID class, these are considered as a global attributes. So this is about HTML5 and HTML5 is supported by all latest browsers. So if we can just talk about the different tags which is supported by what. So we just talk, we, I, I hope now you got an understanding about what is element, what is a global attri attribute and what is a simple attribute while defining an HTML element. Okay, now rest all things we can just talk about how we are just creating these simple tags, what is the ID. We should always keep the ID unique for a particular DOM node. What we are creating here is we are creating the DOM structure where you can see in the body what we did we are creating the five dependent child nodes. Body, so we have HTML document, we have a body inside we have a H1 paragraph, div, anchor tag and abbreviations. So all are leaf node of body. But in future you might be just creating okay I, I need a span tag also here. So you might be building a big website where you will be doing all these things. Okay, I, I will have a div inside that. I will have a container inside that. I have a row column. I have a big grid showing pictures in the horizontal and vertical way using some styling. So you will be creating the nested domes where the one node will, one HTML tag will have another tag, another tag and you might be defining the classes, defining the IDs and there are many ways. So it's just about to dom, right? You created a dom but dynamically you will be accessing this DOM and you might be doing some manipulations. So once this DOM is constructed, now with the help of JavaScript, what you will be doing? Okay, or at the runtime when user is clicking on some button, I wanted to change the text of this hello world to something else. So you will be accessing that particular DOM load using JavaScript APIs document or get element by ID document dot query selector query selector all document dot get element by class name. So you can access a particular DOM node using JavaScript APIs that we will cover later but I'm just talking here that this is the HTML DOM we have created and we can access it using JavaScript APIs and browser is understanding this HTML structure okay okay I have a h1 tag so this is how I'm going to behave I will just publish the h1 tag then I have a p tag paragraph tag okay then I have a division inside that I'm just putting a hello world after that uh, I have some kind of a link which I just input here you can see the hello link and then I have abbreviation so hello link is published right so let's talk more about uh, the different semantic syntax in the next video